the way, ain't Without no test, there's no testimony, ain't Okay, no guts, you don't get the glory, ain't You see the outside, really know my story, ain't It gets deeper once you get to know my story, ain't Straight from the south side, to see stuff just birth me, ain't And now I'm worldwide, everyone adore me, show me love we are live for a case for the underdogs. I'm CJ Westra. Alongside me, my blue brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Devin, Devin Wright. Wright. Yes, sir. And also, wait, is it, isn't it just me and you? Oh, oh, oh. I totally forgot. Adam, when did you get here? When UCLA won all those championships. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, when yeah. I got here. <laughs> so you've been waiting oh. here for about 50 years. Long time. Yeah. About, about the same amount of his All his love age. For, for my boy Adam Marino. Um, shout out to you guys. Um, we're going to start the podcast with something very personal to us. And not only on a national level, but a Fort Wayne family level. Um, we're going to take a moment of silence for Caleb Biggie Swanigan, Homestead grad, who passed away um, this last week. So we'll take a quick sec. All right, so rest in peace, Caleb Swan again. Sure. Um, there seems to be an issue lately of young athletes dying. It has, man. Um, earlier this year, Dwayne Haskins, um, the day after um, Biggie passed away, and again, rest in peace to um, Biggie, man. I was, I had the pleasure of seeing him play. He was a phenomenal athlete. Yep. Phenomenal story. Um, everything that he went through early in his childhood to end like that, just definitely a, a sad story and another person just gone too soon. Um, Jalen Ferguson, but yeah, it, it seems like it has been a trend. I don't know what's going on, but that just leads me into the point, like you just don't know when your time is going no, to be. No, you don't. So you, you literally have to appreciate every yeah. single moment, the, the ups and the downs, because you just never know you when it's going to be your time. So you just have to enjoy every second of life, just, just, yeah. just appreciate it, because you don't know and love your loved ones. Yeah, so... Yeah. Rest in peace, Biggie. We'll miss you. Thank you for all the amazing moments as um, a high school player, a college sure. player, um, and a pro player, too, as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Condolences, that's a tough condolences one. to the families and the, the close friends, to, to anybody that has passed way too soon or too early. You know, major prayers to the families, we'll say, from the case of the underdogs. Yeah. So in other news, uh, our boy, um, Jacob Kindig, just turned 30 today. So shout out to Jacob. And one of his MMA partners, Brutus, or I should say Gerard Brutus Winston, wins last night in South Bend by a TKO in okay. the first round. Yes, Big man getting it done. My boy, Brutus. Hashtag, my name is Brutus. Yeah. You're the only Brutus I like because I can't stand that one down in Ohio. So. <laughs> Much love for the big I man. Agree. I agree on that one. Yeah. Um, and that kind of brings us into the NBA draft. What a shock. Yes. Yes. But yes, not, it wasn't a shock for, for one Devin Wright. I wasn't shocked either, but well, I kind of was. I kind of was shocked. I joked about it earlier. I said. I knew it. I said, Palo Benchero. I always have to say it like that now. Palo Benchero. I call him. I'm sorry as about you your know, ears. As you know, I call him Duke. Banchero. Yeah. But he's he actually joins a nice nice group of former Duke overall number ones. Elm Brand, my boy Kyrie, Zion. And he's so, the fourth. So he joins a nice so, group of so overall he's, Duke number one. He design he he joins uh Kyrie, mm -hmm. who is still the talk of the NBA right now. Where true, will he go? True. And he believes the world's flat. <laughs> I'm very tolerant of people's opinions, but when that that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He said I'm very tolerant. And, yeah. and and Zion hasn't played really a game. So great, great Duke El, people El, that El, he's joining. Zion's played some games. Yeah, and Elton Brown was had a he nice career for Chicago and in, in the Clippers. So Elton Brown was, Dude, Zion was all -star. killing people. Zion was out there killing. Oh, he, he was. really was. He was he breaking really through was. shoes. Yeah, he, no, I got love for Zion. I just had to make my point. Yeah. yeah. Shout out shout out to Coach K, you know, getting them number ones. We're hey, going to miss cool. you next year, Coach yeah. K, for sure. He's done for. That's so sad. It's, like, crazy to see, like, those errors are coming to an end. That's how I know I'm getting old as crap. Yeah, right. that, I thought I'd never see the day. But, it, but what also had happened off the NBA draft, 
I bet a quarter that my boy Duke Banchero was going to be number one overall. And that quarter turned into $7. So in one of those moments, that's what I wish I would have bet like 10, 20, or 100. (laughs) Has that ever happened to you guys? Like you bet a little amount and it hit and you'd be like, Damn yeah. it! I should have should have bet <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You should have bet like like put down a dollar and you're like I could have put twenty down. Like, yeah, I could have put twenty. You you did bet on Aiden Hutchinson, right? Oh yeah. So I bet Aiden Hutchinson. Well, would go in the top. two. Would go in the top three. Or, oh, okay. And he did. And he did. And I won. I think sixty to seventy your, bucks to your Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. I say your because they're not mine. That's for sure. <laughs> so, Sleeper team of the NFC North. Yeah. So. Um, shout out to FanDuel for hooking my boy up with seven dollars. He yes, needed sir. gas money, by the way. The inflation is <laughs> going. So he was yeah. able to go from his house to his next door neighbor's house. Yep. Yes, <laughs> true facts. <laughs> to talk but about were, Paolo Benchero. But they were yeah. cooking over there, and he wanted a plate, so had to get yeah. plate. he had to get seven dollars for gas. Does yeah. he have an Xbox? You play Madden too? Uh, you already know what I do. You don't want this smoke. You already know what Y'all it, be dodging me. Y'all already know what I do. Hey, I played mad. with the Lions today. I lost 21-0. Dang. But in yeah, my defense. Jared Goff. <laughs> yeah, and I was playing Zach. And Zach, like, is Madden King. I want to play Zach, then. No, I'm Madden we'll, King. We'll do a Madden tournament. We'll get Logan Smith. We'll get Zach. We'll get our boys. Get whoever. Get John Madden. Bring him back. <clears throat> They're going to link up where you can play live Xbox to PS, right? Ooh, what? That's what yeah, I heard. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that. You're going to be able to do that. That's and then the you already know, uh, speaking of video games, EA announced July of 2023. Next year. NCAA football yeah. is okay. back. Shout out to NILs for bringing nice. my favorite college game back. So I'm su- oh, e- college basketball is probably eventually going to be back, too. For I remember sure. playing Thanks. with John Wall, yes. and that's Marcus the only one, 2011. All- so that was weird how the basketball one got Knicks first, and then EA three, four years later, Knicks the, the football. That but sad right. I just want to bring both of them back. Yeah. I, I just miss them. That was some good times. So, in, ladies, uh, next July, you better take your man's credit card and go to the, uh, I was going to say, the cleaners <laughs> clean that account out um but i don't want i i need we need views so that's after man, the divorce you take up yeah. the cleaners well i was saying because if he's gonna want the time inside you better get your nails done you better get that new outfit mm-hmm. fashion hit All your boy up stuff. Devin, for the fashion advice you know a little some some a little some and speaking of the ladies so what would your what would your gift be to you know a special lady would you would you get her a pair of thongs boy shorts or some granny panties um, I am the gift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna put on a thong for? Her? No. Like a Borat piece. Yeah. All right. I can see him in that. I can the see green, him in that. The lime green. Uh huh. I no. can see him in that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> that's Before for my wa- That's for my wife, fellas. That's for your wife. <laughs> yeah. That's what's I don't kiss and tell. Me, me either, man. I kiss, but I, I don't be telling. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I tell, and I didn't, but I didn't even do it. I just say I did. Yeah. <laughs> so all the times that we hear about Marino's <laughs> relationships, we'll just put that there. Shout out to the ladies, though. Shout yes. out to the ladies, big time. And um, and women's sports this week, you know, we had the Chicago Sky making history this week, coming down, coming back from 28. And getting a W, shout out Candace Parker and them. Big, big, big way to make some history in well, women's sports. And speaking of Candace Parker, speaking of fashion, speaking of women's sports, yes. Candace Parker just released a new shoe. Absolutely, um, they're dope. Which is designed by her daughter, which I think is the coolest thing in the yeah, world. That is for cool. her to be able to have her daughter step up, design a shoe, yes. and involve her in that. Um, in and that that's room. and that's what we talk about, you know, the empowering in women's sports. Like, yeah, that's way to go, Candace. We, yes. I've blown out of the water. Um, appreciate you and way to way to get that comeback. Twenty seven points. That's crazy. Yes. The Warriors might not even do that. I don't know, man. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But in other fashion news this week, um, Louis Vuitton Fashion Week, the Big Stepper, Mr. Morale himself performs some of his album at the you know the F- Louis Vuitton Fashion Week and pays tribute to. The late Virgo, so that was real dope of Kendrick Lamar being able to perform for Louis Vuitton and just you know set some good vibes there. Um, and shout out to H and M for this amazing Aaliyah shirt. Rest in peace, Aaliyah. That was one of my favorite singers. So that's all we have this week in some fashion news. Awesome. So that being said, moving on. Deshaun Watson. 
Do you think he gets suspended a whole year? Nope. No? I say about six, eight games. So six, eight. So you think the assault charge that Alvin Kamara has that will probably be six games is the same for 26 sexual assault charges? But he's not, he's not formally. I know. But you know, still. It's not a done deal that he. Do you think Alvin Kamara should get suspended? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, he kind of got provoked, but at the same time, like, we all come to that, like, you held that a higher standard. Yeah. Like, yeah, you should be able to. Exactly. So, it, talk about beating people up, too. You got some news from the Twitter sphere. <laughs> yes. Skip Bayless is back at it again. This with time with, with Russ. Yes, he called on Russell Westbrook. And Russell didn't like that. Well, then tell Russell to play better. And stop hitting it from the side of the – I've seen him shoot from the side of the of the three-point line, and it hit the side of the basket. That's more than a brick. That's it's a what brick kids. Brick. That's what kids at the after-school care do. <laughs> that was a brick brick. Brick brick. But yeah, Russell didn't like that. He wanted Skip to say that to his face. What's so. the dude that used to play – is it Josh Smith, the dude from Detroit? He played Atlanta, then Detroit. Dunker, the dunker. Yeah, but he he couldn't shoot, no, and like shoot people one. like I remember there was a meme where like it was him shooting, and they're like Josh Smith went into construction, b- building houses, brick by brick, <laughs> and so instead of the ball, it was literally like Little bricks bricks. in his hands. So that's gonna be Russell Westbrook next. Um, I got love for Westbrook, but you gotta do something, bro. You're playing with the Lakers. You're playing with LeBron. You got Anthony Davis. Lakers have no excuse. I'm sorry. I'm I'm tired of trying to figure it out i understand why the genie bus is mad like you are the superstars you are the spotlight you guys should win at least uh 80 75 to 80 percent of your games you should be a top three seed in the west um i know you're not perfect i know there's injuries i know you're getting old but at the same time you guys should still be at peak performance unless you just guys aren't good enough so we'll see um and i'm not saying i'm better because i'm just you know yeah the fat guy that plays softball on Sundays and, and makes some <laughs> cool catches at shortstop. But um, that's kind of really – I mean, Westbrook said – what did he say? He said, say it to my face. He said, say it to my face. Man. I bet you won't say it to my but face. Skip has had plenty of stuff. Yeah, Skip don't face. care. Yeah, Skip don't give a fuck. And shout out to Skip. <laughs> Skip really doesn't care. Yeah, he no, he all. don't. He's he don't at all. And he's going to want his mom do for sure. Every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Skip Bayless in the news – Russell Westbrook. New name. New name. What do you guys think of the NBA? Defense still is proven after the finals and the playoffs. Defense is king because a lot of people are like, oh, we're going into just an offense, no defense type of thing. I still think defense is very prevalent. Um, I loved watching the show, the the movie Hustle with Adam Sandler. Dope movie. My boy Bo Cruz, the Cruz Missile. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, that dude can block. Yeah. I love big men that can block. So, do you think that the NBA is going to more like it, obviously it showed defense was a key part, but do you think it's more offense or defense nowadays? Definitely more offense. They're scoring at way a higher rate than they used to do back in the day. Yeah. They're, I mean, some teams are hitting 103 quarters. Yeah. So it's definitely less of a defensive lead, more so of an offense running and shoot. Let's look at Curry. He's pulling up. People want to score and score fast. Yeah. So I think it has gotten away from the low scoring games, the big man lead, you know, tough basketball. No, it's all about scoring and dunks and all dunks the highlights. Dunks and all the highlight reels. Yeah, for sure. Um, other news. Um, Bryce Harper breaks his finger. His thumb, right? His thumb. Good job, Benny Snow. <laughs> well done, my good and faithful servant. And and the Yankees got no hit. Yeah. How yeah. do you – they're on pace to be the best team ever. Oh, um, Stanton breaks, Stan breaks his 16 and three-fourths inning drought of hitting wow. with a home run. I think that it might have been today. But, yes, they got no hit yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. No hits, and you're the New York Yankees. And the New York I can't Yankees. believe that. that I'm, so, I mean, I'm so sad about my team. That's, <laughs> that, that shouldn't happen. So, terrible. In Charles Barkley voice. Terrible. Ter- terrible. Ter- terrible. Terrible, Chuck. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> They're still on pace to win more games than any other team. Yeah, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, the Yankees are the Yankees. 
The Stankies. The Stankies. Stop. Enough about baseball. Enough about baseball. Y'all know Drake got married. Like 23 times, I heard. Yeah. He got married 23 times in this new video, Falling Back. Music news of the week. Pretty awesome video. I didn't listen to the whole album, but getting married 23 times to 20 different women, <laughs> pretty amazing. So shout out to Drake in his new video. Check I love that on Tay Tac that it's all like Drake's, like they're like pictures. Like Drake's, Drake's the type of guy to like tell a joke and then all his friends laugh and then he'd be like, <laughs> ooh, I needed this. <laughs> <laughs> but no, shout out to Drake for doing his thing. I know I, I said on the one one show that it was terrible. It's just not what I'm used to, but I love I, him I regardless. I love his music regardless, yeah, dude. Regardless. Like in Europe um, it's gonna break record. Yeah. 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 Europe. <laughs> he's gonna go on tour in Europe, Canada. He's from Canada, so shout out to them. Yeah. Um in other news, Chris uh, Brown dropped an album. It's fire. Is it? I haven't it, listened to it yet. The no skips. The first, it's like 24 tracks on the album. It's entitled Breezy, but it's fire. He's actually getting ready to go on tour with Lil Baby, and they're okay. in Indianapolis here soon. So awesome. Might be pulling up to that to you know check out Chris Brown and Lil Baby. Yeah. So and, and new for album. You, and for you country country lovers over there, uh, myself Luke Combs dropped an album on Friday, who, and who? it is it is pretty good. You been yes, busy. sir. Been busy, Caleb. Been, been busy. busy out here. Yeah. Been down to Alabama, dropping in albums at the lake, lake recording podcasts, streets, everything. Want to be man, in Caleb when game. I go. So yeah, man. I mean, music is it's crazy. I love the summer because I feel like they just drop, 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 just drop, 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 drop. Like last week, like we we might have new albums every week this every summer. Week, not for real. So don't get used to it though, because come fall, it's not going to be the same. It might be every three, four <laughs> weeks. <laughs> But yeah, we'll try to hit you up on the latest music news that we can. I think a good thing about this show is predominantly sports, but we want to also share the fashion and the the f good feeling and the you know oh, and the stuff. music and the arts in general and just what's relevant to here and now. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. You guys got any new movies you guys want to see? Um, I did see Kevin Hart is dropping a movie on Netflix. It looks pretty good. I forgot. I didn't see the title, but I seen a little quick preview. I caught the end of it. So yeah. I'm going to have to um, get back to that, and we'll talk about that next week when awesome. we find out the movie title. Um, I want to see this new movie. I think it dropped this week called The Black Phone. I'm a I'm a very <gasps> good, like, I love horror movies. Yes, I too, love, 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 love. Let's go see it. Hey. If you guys want to join us, hit us up. If you want to pay for tickets, we'll love you forever. What about what about Jurassic Park? Did y'all see that? I yet? so me and Marino saw that. Uh, okay. Shout out to our boy Keegan Roush. Thanks for, for the turning invite. for turning what like forty? No, I'm just kidding. He didn't he turn like eight or nine? Yeah. So shout out to <laughs> Roush. He's gonna be the new Roush. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, Jeremy. You've I'm been sorry. Replaced by Keegan. He's got a he's got a wetter jumper than you. <laughs> so. Um, we went in as as a, a group. We went all and watched it with him, and it went to the theaters. It's pretty cool. We saw it on IMAX. The Elvis movie dropped. Oh, Elvis! Elvis dropped. Yes. Cool, cool. I don't know much about it. I don't no, know much yeah. about the Me main actor. Seen... Tom Hanks is all I know. But oh, is he playing Elvis? No, no, no. <laughs> no Tom Hanks is not playing Elvis. Well, I see the producer. A, yeah. Okay. Okay. And it's just like national uh, Tom Hanks won an Oscar day, I guess, today. Like, he's just trying to win an Oscar. Yeah. I, I, like, he point, has to like, do something to stay relevant. Yeah. I mean, after some of his setbacks, people with are his ties watch to Epstein sure. Island. and Right. So, <laughs> yeah. So, tell us about your jerseys in the background. Uh, this week, speaking of movies, these two jerseys are from two of my favorite movies. We have. Oh, AK he got all the she got way. Game. We got my boy Tyler. That the six man. That's yeah, that's a, that's, AK a, that's, all a, the way. that's a movie that's slept on. The six man. Marlon oh, yeah. Wayans. AK all the way. AK all the way. Washington Husky so, huh, huh, Huskies. Um, I got that jersey in the back, and then my boy Jesus Shuttlesworth. Shuttlesworth. Ray he Allen. got game. Ray Allen. You know that. Denzel Ray Allen. That movie yeah. was phenomenal. So. I'm, I'm I'm mad you don't have the Shaq jersey from. Uh, Blue Streak. Blue, blue Chips. Or Blue Chips, sorry, not Blue <laughs> now, Streak. Blue Streak oh, that, was I, a funny movie. Yeah. <laughs> and that's actually in my cart right now. It Him is. Man Pennies. Him and Pennies. McCray and uh, Blue Dock, uh, whatever his, Bordox was his name. Yeah. We need to get Kendrick the LP because he's a little penny because he little. 
<laughs> he needs to get baby in the weight room. He got a baby T-shirt. <laughs> get you an LP <laughs> from the but little yeah. penny. <laughs> But yeah, we're we we gonna have to try to have a nice little the slim, so, the slim nice little previews in the like backdrop. always. Shout out to your producer, KP certified, sir. KP. But his new name that I think's gonna stick because so, because you guys don't see him, you forget about him. I think you forgot about K. <laughs> and I told him this is your Dr. K now. <laughs> <laughs> right. We got Dr. Dre. Wait a minute, that doesn't sound good because that's like the Walmart, the Walmart brand. You know the <laughs> Dr. Dr. Pepper. K. <laughs> when you can't afford Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. K. Bro, don't sleep on Dr. K, bro. Dr. K, get it through. No, Dr. K is the move. But <laughs> the move. Dr. K make the hood go like crazy. Sam's, yeah. <laughs> Sam's choice. That's that Sam's choice. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say special K, so that's 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 good because that's ketamine. We don't we don't want that. Um, but yeah, so that's what the name I was. You forgot about K. We got Dr. Dre. We got Dr. J. Uh huh. And now we have Dr. K. Yes, sir. All day, every day. Hey. Stay <laughs> out the way. Hold up. Hold, hold hey. up. So, you got any more things for me? Um, cause you, dude, I love. My man Devin Wright always got got the up and up, bro. Got Stays on top up. of it. Hey. We could have whole notes written for a show, and he could tell us twenty different things that we missed out. Right. <laughs> so you got anything more, man? If you are in the Fort Wayne area between June twenty second and September eighteenth, Fort Wayne is honoring a fashion icon, Bill Blass, for a hundred day celebration at the Fort Wayne Art Museum. So. Um, me being a fashion guy, that is something that you, if you're looking for something to do for 100 days, June 22nd through September 18th, check out the Fort Wayne Art Museum. It's a lot of dope things going on over there, and we're honoring a fashion icon, once again, Bill Blast. So, awesome. Fort Wayne, Indiana, if y'all in the area. Stand up. 260, stand up. So, that is a lot of content we've had today. Thank you guys for staying with us. A case for the underdogs. I'm CJ Westra, Devin Wright, for Adam Marino. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Deuces. Peace and love. <laughs>